The Finance Ministry has given the firm assurance that it has instituted measures to check budget overruns in the first quarter of next year. Deputy Minister of Finance, Kweku Kwating, has been giving more details about these initiatives in an interview with your business. So on this occasion, there's a certain sense, at least on my part and on the part of those who work on this uh, expenditure in advance of our preparation, uh, that we're going to have a new Nanado government taking over from the old Nanado government. It still will be the case that there might be changes uh, in positions. Uh, ministers will have to go for vetting. Within that period, you really do not expect that those who uh, will be in charge will be able to spend. So I don't think it's a, it's a risk we need to worry about so much. But I, I think broadly, what the minister was saying was that when you have gone through COVID and you have a program to recover, as part of the recovery, you want to now make sure that you return to the normal deficits you were registering before uh, the pandemic. MDAs would have to play their role in that. And let's not forget that it is also a jailable offense under the PFMA to overspend your budget. It's a jailable offense. And so uh, I'm confident that uh, MDS would listen to the minister's admonition and that, and that by the time we actually issue the actual 2017-2021 budget in March 2021, uh, we would have contained uh, our expenditures within the revenue that we are able to get. Mm. But you, you look at 13 billion revenue, 27, again another huge deficit as well. Q1 already, it gives us a sense of what we should expect for the year. I think you should focus more on the year-end uh, uh, deficit. As you would uh, recall, in the first year, uh, in the first quarter after the uh, an election year, there are some extraordinary expenditures you need to incur. And therefore, in order to get a balanced picture of what's likely to happen in 2021, you need to look at the year-end projections. We are committed. I'm confident we'll be in power. We're committed to respecting the fiscal path that we have defined. Because without it, the recovery will be difficult and Ghanaians will pay the price subsequently. Mm -hmm. So we're committed to ensuring that the fiscal path is respected. And once that happens, the recovery would follow. And Ghana can put safely put COVID behind us and return to the kind of progress we were making, exiting the IMF, improving the macro fiscals uh, that we saw before COVID. We would return to those those. Finally. those